It's been a long time since I recorded one of these. Hello everyone, welcome back to another Animal Crossing video, and as you might notice by the background, I'm up early. And that's because Lonnie won't stop calling me in the middle of the night wondering where I've been because I haven't been into work, and now she's threatening the, the lives of my wife and the kids. And so that's why we should jump into it so that sh we can protect our children. Anyway, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy my content. Okay, let's continue. I brought a new member to our island. Uh, this is Gladys. I met her a while ago, but it's been so long since I played Animal Crossing that I forgot about her. Anyway, as you can see, 6.41am. Another thing, there's a villager at the campsite and I want to see who it is. Yeah, that's a no for me. Long time no see, Orville. I was gonna call you Wilbur, that's how long it's been. Anyway, take me to work. I don't want to lose Bartholomew Hagrid Johnson Jr. He was named that after after my step-great-grandpa on my cousin's side. I don't know. I'm making everything up. And it looks like our company is absolutely stunning! Oh, it's so beautiful at this time of day. A UFO. No. Place that's not quite finished. I could definitely make that for you. Uh, a vacation house with a light... A vacation home with a lighthouse. That's something. Sci-fi. No. You know what? This seems intriguing. Mac Moo. Oh my goodness. He's... You work at McDonald's and you look like Guy Fieri. You're like... You're like the fast food abomination. Somewhere I would want a lighthouse. It needs to be somewhere on the water. You know what? Let's go here. I've never built a vacation home here. Okay, we've got lighthouse and wave crasher thing. Okay, furniture items from Nook Shopping. Don't care. I'm gonna set up a few of these wave crashers on the beach. That seems good. And whenever I think of a lighthouse, I often think of a building like that, so let's just go with that. You know, it's a little ugly, but I personally quite like the color scheme. Okay, you wanted the sardine bucket thing? My dad had a period where he ate sardines, and it was traumatizing. The smell, the smell will haunt me forever. Surfboard, yacht. I don't know why you'd have a utility pole, but I do like these crates. The yacht can just go out by the ocean. Uh, and I'll move the crates just over here and over here because it sounds cool. I like the outside. Let's do a bit of pathing and then I think we're going to be fine. Don't worry, I'm still going to be putting out Minecraft content. I'm not going to deny you of that. I think I want to make you just a nice cozy little reading nook. So I'm just gonna do that. Let's get two of those. Large magazine rack. Some of those. That stuff. You know, just a lot of the shelves. I don't know, do you th guys think this is enough shelves? I don't think it's enough. That is actually quite nice. This looks pretty nice already. I'm gonna get some wallpaper and flooring before I do anything else though. You know what? That's perfect. This is the most perfect wall for this room. You know what? The Sakura wood flooring is a very nice pop of color. Ooh, we can add a little uh, tapestry or whatever, though. Uh, he's gonna have my own merchandise that I haven't released yet. It's part of the new Mellow Soup collection. You'll see it coming out uh, on April 1st. Yeah, it's good. Mark the calendars, guys. I want some chairs next. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Okay. Uh, this can go. Um, this can go, and then this can just go in the corner over here. The froggy chair? I hate to say it, but it's gonna go. We're moving this over some, and then fitting that in as like a little side table. I'm getting rid of that. I'm thinking. Maybe I should make like a congratulations to New Horizons and pour some of my islands. My people's islands. Oh, speaking of that, if you want me to tour your island, join the Discord that I have 
on my channel. Like, go, just go to my channel and go to links and my Discord should be right there. Join that. That's a great Discord. Made it, uh, in, like, two weeks. It took a long time, but it's great. This is going great. This is going quite well. This is good. I like it. Should I add two pillars, though? That is the question, and the, qu and the answer is yes. Let's add some bar stools. Okay, you know what? Miso ramen also works. And do we... Savory bread. Okay, this seems pretty well. This seem I mean, this seems pretty good. Now I'm just going to adjust some things. Okay, Angus, your house is done. That's the best photo I could have taken! <laughs> Murphy. The burden of my life. Wow. Not quite finished yet. Well, boy howdy, can I give you something that's not quite finished yet. The reason it'll be half finished is because all the workers uh, got stuck in the iceberg. Oh, the porta potty! We need way too many of these. My dad loves them. He always uh, he always goes to visit them and then asks them if they come there often uh, when we're driving to play Pokemon. We need as many of these as we can house. I remember one time in Minecraft, I was playing on Bedrock Edition because that was the only edition I had at the time. And my friend was like, excuse me, I'm taking the dump in the porta potties that we built because we made a campsite. And so, I set him to in visitor mode, which is basically adventure mode for all you Java players out there. And so he couldn't do anything, and so he was trapped in the porta potty and scared of the dark. And he was yelling, HELP! HELP ME! It might have been a little, uh, tragic for him. He might have not deserved it. Oh, but he definitely deserved it. He peed on my Hot Wheels. That's a story for another day, though. You know what? Let's make it so that you can't even enter the place. Cone. Cone. Duplicate the cones. More cones. Yeah. Cone! Here, the, these two tractors are having a tractor battle. And then this tractor... This guy just hopped out because he needed to get to the porta potty Uh, I've seen this a lot. Uh... Like, before they add the walls, uh, they have just, like, these. It's not exactly this, but, you know, see-through bars, sort of. And so, we'll have some of these. J because that's what I had when I first moved into my house. Another thing, we had the lock placed on the rocks wrong side, so I would trap my dad in the bathroom because I could just lock him in there. Uh... Yeah, I'm a strange child. But anyway, um, that's not relevant to the video. What is relevant is this will be off just to annoy people. And then another thing, probably we'll add in a sink over here. Although we don't have proper plumbing yet. Step ladder. We'll just add that up in the corner. I'm tempted to add the manhole cover, but I'm not going to. Ooh, a bunch of stacked bags. And a chainsaw and a bucket. You know what? I forgot. We can add wallpaper and make this even more half-finished. This certainly looks like a horrible house. I'm glad you hired me for this job. I did amazing, didn't I? Cement mixer! Oh, he's so happy. Yeah, we're just gonna pour it on the people in that porta potty so they'll be like, Oh, I'm just taking a dump, and then they can't open the door, and then they're stuck in there with their own poop smell. Yeah, no photos. Anyway, uh, it was fun being on a ha Happy Home Paradise again. Uh, I'll probably finish this series eventually, but still, I'm never gonna finish it exactly because there's 400 villagers and every one of them can have a house. But, you know... 
Uh, that's it for this episode. If you made it this far, you probably like my stuff, so please subscribe. Uh, and if you don't subscribe, then at least like the video. I mean, you made it this far, you might as well. Anyway, that's it from, from me. Uh, see you all next time. Goodbye!